Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Efficient Musician again uh, with a tutorial on how to automate a Stylus RMX uh, in Logic Pro 9. So uh, if you're wondering how to uh, automate the parameters of uh, the eight different uh, Stylus RMX tracks uh, you're given within Logic, um, this tutorial is for you. So let's get started. Uh, let's make a software instrument that's multi timbral and in Stylus RMX, they give you eight tracks. So let's uh, write eight there. Create. Okay, good. Um, let's open up Stylus. Multi output, be sure um, to click that. Okay, good. So let's just um, get a kit up here. Um, any kit will do. Uh, what's cool? Liquid grooves. I'm I'm down with liquid grooves. Nature boy. Hmm. Ooh, Truman Show. What was that? Whatever. Um, okay. So let's do this. Um, let's just drag these in here. Um, individual grooves. You can see what I'm doing. I'm clicking on uh, the drag and drop from each of the tracks from the stylus menu. Um, I think there was four of them, there was five, okay. Okay, cool. So let's take a listen to uh, the groove. Doesn't really matter, but. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what we wanna do now is open up um, the automation, right? And the problem uh, when you start out like this is, uh, say you want to change the volume of this uh, shaker groove up here. Uh, whatever you change in one of the tracks, uh, as you can see, is mimicked in all of the other tracks. Um, and that's really easy to get around. Um, so let's just do that right now. Uh, what you need to do is you got to click on the parameter tab. So click where it says volume. And then you just move your mouse up to stylus RMX. And what you need to do is it gives you all these parameters that you can automate up here. Just go down the menu. And there you are. Part one level. Boom. Separate automation. And then you can drag this in here and you can see how your automation uh, is mirrored within the stylus. You see the level meter right there? There you go. Uh, and it works the same way here. You can see the, the volume automation changing as I change the level meters. So you can just do them with uh, each one of the tracks. Part two level. I didn't set up the multi outputs, but um, there are other. I'll make another tutorial on how to set up multi outputs in Logic uh, with Stylus RMX. Uh, or you, um, I'm sure there's already plenty out there. Part three and so forth. So I hope that helps you out, and um, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.